he calls his own by name. John chapter 10 verse 3 When I have sadly misunderstood him. See John chapter 20 verse 11 to 18. It is possible to know all of our doctrine and still not know Jesus. A person's soul is in grave danger when the knowledge of doctrine surpasses Jesus, avoiding intimate touch with him. Why was Mary weeping? Doctrine meant no more to her than the grass under her feet. In fact, any Pharisees could have made a fool of Mary doctrinally, but one thing they could never ridicule was the fact that Jesus had cast seven demons out of her. See Luke chapter 8 verse 2. Yet his blessings were nothing to her in comparison with knowing Jesus himself. She turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Mary, John chapter 20, verse 14 and 16. Once he called Mary by her name, she immediately knew that she had a personal history with the one who spoke. She turned and said to him, Rabboni. When I have stubbornly doubted, see John chapter 20 verse 24 to 29. Have I been doubting something about Jesus? Maybe an experience to which others testify, but which I have not yet experienced. The other disciples said to Thomas, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas doubted, saying, Unless I see, I will not believe. Thomas needed the personal touch of Jesus. When his touches will come, we never know, but when they do come, they are indescribably precious. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Chapter 20, verse 28. When I have selfishly denied him. See John chapter 21, verse 15 to 17. Peter denied Jesus Christ with oaths and curses. See Matthew chapter 26, verse 69 to 75. And yet after his resurrection, Jesus appeared to Peter alone. Jesus restored Peter in private, and then he restored him publicly before the others. And Peter said to him, Lord, you know that I love you. John chapter 21 verse 17. Do I have a personal history with Jesus Christ, the one true sign of discipleship is intimate oneness with Him, a knowledge of Jesus that nothing can shake.